Maybe I should read the, the last things he says to me. Yeah, go away. Now attach some radial parts to the vessel. You can use two large buttons. Okay, to control duplicates. Well, I attached it. Is it what you wanted? Okay, how the surface mounted part, but these, uh, these parts are not surface mounted, are they? But maybe that's what the what will hold the rocket. Hmm. Interesting looking ship, let's hope it looks... I don't want to see it. Mission flag. Ah, okay. Oh no! It happened again! groups <laughs> stupidity I don't know. Now it's missing these wings, but it has these parts attached. I don't know what they are for. They, they probably hold parts of the rocket together if you... <laughs> so what to do now? Target! Target is the sky! Target for the sky. Fuel. It is full of fuel. Do we need a launch lug or launch pad or something? Standing here and holding the rocket? Okay, go go for it. It doesn't react to anything. Ah, here. Come on. Maybe th these parts work. Uh. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, by space you trigger something. 
But how do you ignite fuel? I don't want to switch a vessel. Shift, oh yes! Oh, he is excited! Do I have to hold shift? No. It flies! It flies amazingly straight forward without even... without any aerodynamic wings. Ah, I made it! Hey, you are as excited as I am! It's unbelievable, this rocket would never fly. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What does he see? Wonderful. Oh, we have fuel problems. Fuel is almost burned out. Uh, one thing we didn't think about <laughs> is this the means of returning. Okay. So, Mr. Jebediah, <laughs> you still excited? The altitude still races, that's fine. 37, 38 kilometers. Yeah, that's... 37 kilometers? That's, that's barely above the surface, right? 37 kilometers, if you think 6,380... No, 6,378 kilometers is the diameter of, of Earth, approximately. And we are only 75 kilometers, 76, so we are about 1%. We have The altitude is 1% of the Earth's diameter now. Oh, something above 1%. But the velocity is... is uh, decreasing. Do, could, do we have another view? Can I have an orbit view? Oh, look, look, look! This is the prediction, what will happen. Now, this shall be the 1% of... Ah, oh, this is great. Yeah, let's look at this. This can't be... Maybe, maybe this planet is not exactly the same diameter as Earth. Maybe it's a fictional planet. So... We should reach the turning point. Yes, now it it's falling down. I wonder whether it will burn in the atmosphere. It should. Uh, should it? Shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> My knowledge of rocket physics is really... Uh, about as much as a fifth class stu student knows, or maybe a bit more. But I really don't know whether it, whether the heat. I recently read that when when a rocket uh, or, a, or any any kind of body is uh, entering the Earth's atmosphere, that. Uh, it, it is, um, we know that uh, it's getting hot, but it's not getting hot because of how I thought it is the friction of, of the air uh, through which it flies. It's not the friction which makes it hot. It is uh, because the body compresses the air uh, 
in, in, in under under it in the direction it's it's flying and this this uh, when you when you compress gases they they get hotter so it's this compressed gas um, it, which makes the uh, the rockets burn and and hot when entering the atmosphere so it's not it's not the, the friction as such i don't know why they didn't teach us this fact in school uh, now it slowly turns i wonder why why didn't the rocket turn before because there must be something like winds and why does it turn now so suddenly why does it turn why does it turn like this and why didn't it turn before why didn't oh, oh this is really oh really fast yes 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 but this is not real physics right this is not real air model Will he, will he survive? I mean... It's, it's, it's like a pendulum. It, it, the air is not really well modeled here. There are no tur turbulences and anything. It, it's like if it's, if it's hanging on a... Uh, um, on a string. It's, it's not really incredibly modeled yes did he die um, wait isn't this supposed to be the sea it looked like it it collided with the <laughs> with the sea surface and vanished or is it just a... Is the depth of the sea so low? Okay, so how do I return to... Um, Nagi Rocket? Yeah, Nagi Rocket is here, so... Flight results. Separation stage two confirmed. Okay, that was the pressing space bef before the lift up. Lift off. Radial decoupler crashed into terrain. Mark one cockpit splashed down hard and was destroyed. Jebediah was killed. Fuel tank splashed down hard and destroyed. Fuel splashed down destroyed. Achievement. Mission time highest altitude. 86 kilometers, highest speed, 1,035 meters per second. That's a f that's fast, isn't it? High speed over land. Ground distance covered. I see. Total distance traveled. Oh, most G-force endured. Yes. Okay. Vehicle assembly. Nice. So Nagi Rocket one. We don't really need this. Um. I'd say it's enough for the first session. I will play around a bit and see what I can find out about rockets and their <laughs> systems which help them return to surface. Maybe I should start with building by building planes rather than rockets and then see uh, maybe, or, or whether we have any kind of parachutes here which which would somehow we need something which will decouple this thing from the from the module and a parachute which will open. I'll try to find it and uh, see whether we have it available in the next session. Or maybe I should just do the next tutorial. Yeah, whatever, I'll decide uh, later. Thanks for watching, see you next time.